It's so good. It, ooh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, it's some crevices that get you, girl. <laughs> yes, yeah, but I'm so happy I'm doing this. I'm so happy I'm doing this. I'm so happy. Jesus. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Milan Garcon. We're the next on the end. Y'all already know what we give over here if you've been here before. I want to hop right into today's video. It's really exciting. It's also raining cats and dogs. It's pouring. It's giving heavy torrential downpour right outside of my house. I do live in New York City. And we're having crazy flooding today. So, you know, it's the day to get everything done. Thank you guys for being here. This is a video about getting laser hair removal. I've been getting laser hair removal on my face for at least two and a half years now. Um, my first year, I went religiously every five to six weeks. Great results. Since then, I go maybe three or four times a year. I went yesterday and got my face done, but the big thing that I got done yesterday for the first time ever was a Brazilian bikini laser, which I was super scared for many reasons. I go to Erase Spot in the city. This video is in partnership with Erase Spot. I've been working with them for a very long time. This is the only place I've ever gone to go get laser. Those that follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, y'all see me with no makeup on all the time. I do not have dark marks or discoloration or hyperpigmenta uh, hyperpigmentation from shaving or hair removal and hair growing back, um, ingrown hairs. I used to really struggle with that completely cleared me up. I love laser. I know the benefits of laser and I know that this place gives you the results that you want and the results that you are paying for, which I still pay for my sessions. Um, not all of them, of course, if I'm creating content, I'm just a very honest person, but I don't create content every time I go. So when I don't go, I do pay for my sessions. So this is a place that I trust, a place that I believe in and a place that I don't mind them, you know, doing procedures on my skin like laser because laser can go wrong in a few ways if you don't go to the right places or they don't know how to treat your skin. Erase Spa in Manhattan, New York is an amazing place. I'll have all of their information in the bio. But yes, I did get Brazilian bikini laser, meaning they do everything front to back. Front to back. They go from right up under like your belly button. Well, not right up under because that's still kind of like your midriff, but they go right below your midriff and they do the whole pelvic area. They do your bikini lines. Whatever hardware you have in between your legs, no matter like what you got going on down there, they gonna zap it all. They gonna get it all. They gonna get that in between and they gonna get that booty out. So, <laughs> um, and then they get the inner part of the cheeks. They don't do your butt. I do want my whole body done, but I knew I wanted to start with the bikini Brazilian laser because, or Brazilian bikini, however you want to say it, it's Brazilian. And it's not just the panty lines, or it's not just the front, not just the back, it's the whole shakoodle. I was very nervous to go for two main reasons. The pain, and then having to be naked from the waist down in front of someone that wasn't my doctor or wasn't an intimate partner, right? So I was very nervous and cringy about that. I have a high pain tolerance, so that wasn't ever gonna be something that made me not do it. But definitely having to be untucked in front of this, you know, cis woman that's doing this work on me was like very nerve wracking. And I just had to like put my trust in the spa and put my trust in her that it wouldn't be an awkward situation or a cringy a situation or a situation that made my body just more feel like put me in a full panic mode in public in front of people. I did film the entire appointment. I have filmed me asking my technician, my laser tech, uh, good questions that I thought you guys would wanna know and questions that I personally had. And I showed you guys a little bit of the spa. So come on with me to get my laser. No trick questions, no trick questions. My first question is, so I shaved this morning, which was around like 1.50, cause I go to work at like three in the morning. So I, I do just wake up randomly and say, oh, let me do this now. So I just went off work. I don't, I just, I feel like there's like a little stubble there. Mm -hmm. Is it okay to shave, like to, like to just shave like those small areas just like where any stubble is now? or is it too close to the appointment to do that? 
I mean, normally we say shave the day before right. because you might have irritation from shaving. Right. But as long as there's no irritation, it's totally fine. Okay, so as long as there's no irritation, yes. that's okay. But definitely shave the day, the day before. before. That's what I always am like used to. And yeah, so then that was that question. I think that was my only right now question. So I'll do that after we do this. Okay. And then um, my other question was with like the body hair i know it's different for like your face is it the same like um five to six sessions to really start like seeing the the decrease in the hair growth and like the thickness of the hair and stuff depending on the area the thicker the hair in the beginning you see a huge difference because obviously it's your first time right but you know same thing as time goes by all parts of the body you'll see results okay little by little 10% cool. less every time you come. Okay. So. Got you. Okay. So you kind of see like a big, because I remember with my face, it was like after the first one, I was like, oh my God, like that's a huge difference. So I'm excited for that because I normally have irritation not after shaving, but as the hair is growing back. Right. That's when the irritation happens. So I'm very excited to do laser and the bikini and the whole Brazilian. And the Brazilian is the front to back, right? So inner buttocks. Uh-huh. The whole front. Whole front. And your bikini line. Oh, all right. We're gonna get to zapping away. I'm not ready. All right. But one thing is, don't tense up the more you tense. Oh. Because you relax. Just relax. It's like a shot. Just relax. It's quick and easy. It's like a shot. Quick and easy, easy, easy. All right, girl. So you know, I'm a fem queen. So what's more down there than um? Might be used to girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, to all, oh, oh, we're gonna do that side first. No dinner. We're just going straight into it. I'm scared. She throwing the white lines on everything, y'all. Everything. Okay, just let me know when it's coming. No surprises. I'm so scared, y'all. Oh my god. I the air what would make me do this? Yeah. Ah. It was okay. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, it's not terrible. Ah. Okay. Ah, just a little break. Okay. Okay, we're good. Ah. 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 Okay. Okay. It's not the end of the world. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Oh, Jesus. Definitely not as bad as the tattoo. Ah, ah. And it's also your first time. Yeah, it gets better. It gets better. Uh, it gets better. Ah, ha, 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 ha. that coochie girl. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely bearable. I can tell you guys that. Um, it's a new feeling down there. It, I'm, I'm sure most of us have never felt that. <laughs> um, you know, except the kinky girls. I love that. But um, yeah, it's bearable. And the first time is always the worst. So the fact that I'm still smiling, that's good news for everyone else. We haven't, I, I feel like I was, I'm more nervous for the front than the back. The back, I kind of feel like I can imagine the feeling. The front, though, is so many different types of skin that I'm just like, but yeah, we're, we're doing it. And I got my daughter here recording for me. Say hey. <laughs> yeah, um, I had to phone a friend, okay? We're going back in. Yeah, it's definitely not the end of the world. Ooh, it, it, ooh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna use some aloe, okay? Okay. It helps. it helps. We're gonna use some aloe. It helps a little bit. Okay. Woo. So, okay. 
Okay. It does help a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Oh, we can do some more. Okay. Woo. Woo. Okay. All right. Yep. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Woo. Woo. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's some crevices that get you, girl. <laughs> yes, feel. But I'm so happy I'm doing this. I'm so happy I'm doing this. I'm so happy. Jesus. Okay, right now? Okay, yeah, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. And that's the area that you can, like, see the most. Like, outside of a bikini, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're breezing straight through the bikini line. I mean... After the, I feel like the area that I was most, oh, okay, she got that ass. Pull that ass back there, girl. Um, okay. Okay, oh, oh, it's just like the cracks and creases and crevices is where the, is, is, is where it gives you the, the function and the friction. <laughs> this is gonna turn into a comedy video. We were gonna use this to laugh during the day. Oh, Jesus. The offense around my Gucci. Woo. Okay, okay, now I'm fucking scared. This is the pixie stick. Ah, 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 ow, oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. It's not as bad as I'm making it seem, guys. It's just like, whoa. And she is doing it. She is doing it. Okay, whatever this setting is, she's cute. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. Woo! She is really getting up in that thing, girl. I'm gonna breathe. Woo! 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 She's doing the gooch. That's the gooch. Ah! Woo! She's doing the gooch. She's doing the gooch. She's doing the gooch. She is in the gooch right now. She's eating it up, girl. I think that's the ball thing. <laughs> Laughing helps. That's that's the best part. Of, oh shit! <laughs> the best advice I can give is to laugh your way through it. Woo! Yeah, that's definitely the gooch of the ball sack. I know what's going on. Get it, girl. Do your big one. Oh, she's walking tonight. I'm walking. Call the boys. My milkshake. Oh yeah, that's the ball sack. She's attacking her. <laughs> Whoa! Now to finish it off. We do a knees to chest, and you know, she gets up in that crack, so this crack won't be whack. Yeah. Whoa, okay, don't tense up, don't tense up, relax. Not that bad, relax. Oh, shit! <laughs> relax! <laughs> okay, that side's not that bad. Not that bad, not that bad. I'm anticipating it, okay. Oh, oh, girl. Girl. How are you feeling? I feel like fish dropping. I'm going to like you out. Let's touch my bottle while you're there. Rub me. Rub me down. <laughs> thank you all for watching. I'm going to follow this up with the at-home talk through. So I want to thank you for putting up with my shenanigans. I must say, I feel so comfortable and affirmed here, even though I have no clothes on and no one has bought me a meal yet. But we're going to get food after this. So let's just wrap this portion up. Okay. So a few things that I didn't really get to talk about or cover in the video because it really wasn't for anybody else. So I guess talk to me about it was more so what was going on in my head but as you saw the laser appointment was successful it was definitely shocking feeling you know the zap in 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 that area for the first time I can describe the feeling by saying it feels like pricks like somebody's pricking you real quick with like a thumbtack but I don't experience like a hot sensation or a burning sensation they ask you is it burning does it feel hot and I never feel that, so that's a good thing. They're always like, okay, good. But I will say with their, um, you can hear how loud the machine was. That's because it's pushing out air. So no matter where they're doing your body, they, they it pushes out like ice cold air. So it kind of soothes the, the laser zap. So you really don't, you feel it, but it's not as painful like as I guess it would be if you didn't have that like ice air coming out. 
But when she was doing it, I think I caught the point where she was like, okay, I'm gonna turn the air up. And she, she made the air push out super hard. So it was like this kind of nice, icy hot sensation, honey. Like I said, sometimes I can be a bit of a pain junkie. Not the best thing. Um, because a lot of times when things hurt me when I should probably go to the doctor, I'm like, oh, I'm good. I can take that. I can take that. It's fine. I can take that. It's fine. Now, the pain on the scale from one to 10, I would say a seven. A solid seven. Like, I feel like an eight. An eight in some places, but the way, like, if you have a good laser tech, they're not just gonna go, 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 and, like, make this, make this a torture session. Like, no. Like, my girl is like, you let me know when you want to stop. I'll stop when I feel like you need a break. And I, we just kind of got in tune with each other. Because, again, I've been going her for a very long time. But she's never done that part of my body. So we got in tune with each other with, like, my pain tolerance down there. And we was going. It was cute. It was fab. I honestly enjoyed my session. By the time it was done, I was, I was excited for, like, the process to have finally started of me getting the laser down there and just the whole, what the outcome will be. And the whole idea of just like, oh my God, this is something I've wanted and something I'm finally doing. I was just as excited as I was before. And then I was all, I'm very excited to go back in six weeks. They did let me know you have to come back every six weeks for the body hair because body hair needs to be treated regularly so that you see the results that you want. I think the biggest thing that I was like really kind of shy about was being like naked from the waist down. And for obvious reasons, I am not a post-op girl. I'm like almost one year into my transition. So a lot of things are still very like new for me, but I've been living my life as femme, as a feminine being, as a woman for about five years now. I just started my medical transition of like HRT this January. So in this coming January, it'll be a year. But um, right now I'm like at the nine, 10 months phase and it's, it's like experiencing certain things because now I'm kind of taking the idea of what I want my body to look like a bit more serious. And I was very like uncomfortable with the idea of having that part of my body exposed to somebody that wasn't an intimate partner or wasn't like my main medical doctor. She made me feel so comfortable. She ne It was never, it was like, oh, she's done this before. And I know that there are people that have the same hardware as I do, whether they're trans or not, um, down there, and they get laser. So it's not the first time that she's ever worked with genitals other than a JJ, right? It, it's still nerve wracking because I've known this lady for years and she ain't never seen me like that. She ain't never seen my undercarriage. She was just mad normal. And like, they gotta touch it because they gotta move everything around. They zap the, they zap the scrotum, they, they zap the pixie stick, the gooch, the butt, the cheeks. Like I said, they do all of that. And I just felt so affirmed. I felt so normal. And like, I'm a doll. So I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be general. I don't want to be average. But in some situations, you just want it to not be a big deal. You just want to feel like every other girl going to go get her laser hair removal. Not like, oh my God, I got to go like make me and this woman uncomfortable that's about to do this laser. Like, no, she was mad, sweet about it. It was like no big deal. Like she made me feel like it was no big deal. And I think that is what made the experience so enjoyable. And as y'all saw in the video, I was laughing the whole way through. A lot of that laughing was like laughing through your pain, literally. Hey y'all, so I'm very sorry my phone died. But really quickly, because we just got some flooding that's coming into our basement. So we're trying to take care of that. But I just wanted to say, um, I'm gonna do a part two. I'm gonna do a follow up for my next appointment. I'm gonna talk about how much hair I've seen, um, how much hair loss I've seen, how much, um, thinner the hair is, you know, all of the changes that I've seen from the first appointment and then six weeks later, right before we do the second appointment. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ask me any questions that you have in the comments. I will get to your questions in the comments. Don't DM them. If I don't get to your questions in the comments, it's because I'm saving it for a Q&A because it must be a really good question. I know a lot of people want answers too. So don't fret. I'm going to answer back. I'm going to interact. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for going on my laser appointment with me and making me way more comfortable. And like I said, I felt amazing at this appointment. So um, go get that cookie zap, girl. But like, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all in my next one. It's, but it's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. See you in my next one.